All right, so a little explanation here on what's going on. Uh, <clears throat> I got these parts painted up for the uh, the shackles on the front for tow hooks, and uh, I got them taped up. Zoom out, show you. I got jack stands and a little uh, pry bar with S hooks, and I got my parts hanging here. I clean them with vinegar galvanized and I sanded them down well actually I sanded them down first and then I uh, clean them with vinegar and I'm gonna paint them I'm gonna do the shackles are gonna be this uh, I try, I'm gonna try this Krylon red and then I got this uh, Krylon black um, I haven't done much painting with Krylon I just better give it a shot I've uh, done some reading and it seems to be some good, good paint, but uh, to show you here what you're actually looking at, these are, these are the shackles right here, and then these are the pins, and I actually have the threads down here, that's where the tape's on is the threads, and I was going to paint these red, and then uh, to mount it to the front of my bumper I have these brackets I'm trying not to touch them because I cleaned them with the vinegar I want my oily skin on there and uh, these will be flush on the front of the bumper and then these u-bolts will actually go over the, the shackle bolt and hold the shackle on uh, later in the video I can out oh, you'll see how it works out um, but yeah like I said I got this off of the uh, on the Pioneer Facebook page. If you haven't joined it and you want some good ideas, you can go on there. The guys are pretty friendly and you can get some pretty cool ideas going. But these are actually three quarter inch shackles. And then these are the uh, U-bolts with the carrier thing or three quarter two. So just to give you a reference on size. And well, hopefully it turns out good in the end. Um, I'm actually gonna have to make a backer for these behind the um, bumper so it uh, <clears throat> it's strong enough for when you tow on it have stuck with me this far I'm on my third coat and uh, they're pretty covered and what I want to do here is I'm taking the bolt for the shackle and I want to paint uh, I want to paint this side black so you don't really see it and then just the end that sticks out of the shackle so it'll be like this will be red but I want the inside to be black so I'm thinking red and then this side's black and the quickest way I was, I came up with to paint this <clears throat> is I'm going to take this big washer, like the one you see behind me over there. Just going to slide it on. <clears throat> I got these big clips that were like a dollar. And I'm going to hang her up and go for a uh, spray paint job number three. So I showed you my uh, the last step was my third step, and then uh, since then I've done a bunch of uh, touch-up paintings. As you can see, I'm laying on the floor because I came to realize that I am a horrible painter. Um, and with this Krylon I was using, it uh, it can actually when I first started spraying it, it was fine, and then I let off, and it, the can just kept going and going. So I didn't know what to do. So I tried pulling the pin out of a the little tip sprayer and uh, I just threw it in this bag over here and that ended horribly um, but yeah after the end result I took off all my <coughs> tape and 
I actually used the spray paint to throw some paint on these jacks just to get rid of some of the paint so I didn't waste it. But anyways, I actually have the shackles and bolts and U-bolts and all my hardware hanging over here, as you can see. And I have it in front of this big furnace. It's a pretty big furnace. Um, I want it to dry, like, all the way. I want to make sure when I go to bolt it up, I don't have paint running off. Because actually, it's still a little wet. And I let it dry overnight. But I didn't leave the heat on overnight, so I might have screwed up there. But, live and learn. It's going to get scratched up anyways off-road. Alright, we are back in the trailer, and it is, like, freezing outside. So I got this little heater. Um, I got a tool set up. I'm going to show you guys here in a minute. I'll show you the lighting I'm working with here. I'm in the enclosed trailer, and uh, <clears throat> I realized that I'm going to have to take this bumper off. That's the only way to make brackets to put behind where I'm going to mount up the uh, shackles for support. So this bumper's got to come off. And uh, first things first was I did, before I turned the camera on, I did take out the little pin in here just because it's hard to film and it's a pain. Um, but uh, to get started here, I, got, I had two needle nose pliers to get the little cotter key right here out of the uh, the pin and in order to get I don't know if you can see it here there's that bolt right there and then there's two two back there which are on my on the bumper they uh, those bolts take a 12 millimeter and a what is this 14 millimeter socket and in order to get the plastic off there's this little bolt right here in order to get that out you got to use this um, either an allen wrench or this allen wrench socket five millimeter the side is all the same as the other side over here which is in the dark right now sorry about the lighting um there's a total of six big bolts and there's two of the little allen wrench bolts take this out I gotta pop the pin <clears throat> and my hook came out pull my rubber off have all the bolts down there completely out of this and it's ready to come out now just gotta grab the bumper and you gotta wiggle it up and down and pull you have to pull out as you pull on your bumper. And it should slide right out. Alright, so I got the, uh, the bumper off. I'm in the garage. Um, heat is on. <clears throat> much Feel much better. And I'm ready to figure out how to mount these shackles on. And, but this is what's going to be holding the shackle bolt. And these... I was planning on putting somewhere right here. Haven't decided where yet. A piece of steel, some sort, that will fit in the back here. Much area as I can get, because I'm going to drill two holes, and then they're going to be through the the um, piece of metal. It's basically a big washer that's going through my U-bolt, so I need to find some kind of metal in here. Kind of look around. I got all kinds of stuff I like to store. This isn't really the plated steel. I'm gonna go down here. Um, lots of this stuff has holes. This is actually the welding table, my welding table with my vise here. And I got all this metal. I need to look for a piece of metal for the bracket. These got holes in them.
now that uh, I got my two backer pieces made up, I got to take my U bolts and I got to center them and mark them out to drill holes. center punched them and then I um, stepped them with the drill I did small and then to the size I needed pretty standard just quick. and now uh, off to painting all right while we wait for the paint to dry on the brackets I suggest that you probably have six to eight beers. No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> um, that'd be a bad idea because you need to use a razor blade next. And uh, I cut these rubbers out. These are actually going to go between this, the plates of steel and the U bolts. <clears throat> and. Uh, so there's no vibration or rubbing and I don't just turn it into a, a nasty, rusty mess when I'm done, come uh, after a few rides. Okay, while the paint is drying for the um, brackets on the back, I threw a level on the front bumper here as you can see, and I put my, um, my brackets that I have to mount up. I got the level straight across from corner to corner the best I could, and I got the top about as straight as I could get it and I centered these and I checked the backs where I have to um, punch a hole to make sure there's enough space and got those centered and I have everything lined up and next I just have to um, drill my holes alright so this is a um, finished product here it's not bolted up yet but uh, I drilled my holes which I didn't do on video because I had to do some um, moving of the bit in the hole <coughs> to try and make sure get the uh, u-bolt to fit and uh, I used uh, the chamfering tool to knock off the rough edges and I went from a small bit to a big bit okay so I tightened these down probably as tight as I could get them um, my end result is I have no idea how to paint these things because when I did it, the paint just peeled right up when I tighten them in. Next time I'll rethink on uh, painting it. I probably did it wrong or something. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, if you're going to do this yourself, you may want to uh, figure out a better painting option. Cause mine looks like crap. All right, so I got my rubber in, and I got my metal plate, and I got my nuts on the back on each side, and I'm getting one step closer to putting the bumper back on. Um, I actually need to tighten up these these bolts. All right, now it's time to put the bumper back on, which is gonna you took it off, pick it up. Line up the holes. And you just kind of give her a little bit of taps. Slide her back into place. But for the worn wenches on the Honda Pioneers, they're actually sitting upside down. So the bottom is actually the top. So when you have this on, <coughs> holes here don't quite line up perfect. You can see, I gotta move the bumper around a little bit. Right here, I got the other side, I got these bolts on the other side. There's three, there's two in the top and then this bigger one in the bottom. 
what you want to do for this bottom one. The other ones are just, just started in by hand. You want to make sure all these start in by hand and not just throw a wrench to them or you'll strip them out. Do is take a pry bar. This is obviously too small. But put a pry bar in here on either your skid plate or the, the frame up here and torque up. <clears throat> so the wrench will actually roll this up into place and then you need to use your other hand to start the your bolt. <clears throat> uh, I got the top ones on each side and now I'm just going to take uh, my 14 on the bottom and the <clears throat> 12 millimeter on the top and tighten those in good and tight. <clears throat> After those are all tightened down I want to go to, to the other side and leave these off and actually put on the, um, the wench cables that are hanging right there. I'm going to put these two back on the wench using a 10 millimeter wrench and tighten those down good put the lines on and then I'll put these on and then my next step will be to put my um, my uh, rubber and hook back on and then it should be good to go